Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Flat World Challenge. And I'm going to actually use this church battlement as a vantage point to possibly see what direction I've entered this village from, and I can't really see so. But, uh... I haven't been having very good luck in the last video or two regarding finding blacksmiths. Okay, I want to go this way. And I don't care much about leaving breadcrumb trails anymore. As... Uh... I don't think I'll be coming back this way. I won't... I certainly won't be retrait. Stupid skeletons. Certainly won't be retracing my steps, so there's no need to leave a path for me to follow. I think the next village I need to collect some food materials. I've been thinking about music lately, simply because I do have to look up new, uh, uh, mm, I forget what it's called, uh, Creative Commons, uh, music for my videos, and, uh, they're mostly electronic or chipset, as they, that genre of music fits nice for Minecraft. Dear lord, that is... Words are unnecessary to describe that. Ow. Ah, this is what I was looking for, a blacksmith. And, uh, to be honest, a lot of the, uh, music I use for, uh, there's a diamond, okay. For the, uh, mainly the Mirgloff builds series is okay, I don't hate it, but... I'm not a huge fan of, uh, huge fan, let's make sure there's not another blacksmith, a huge fan of uh, chipset or electronic, although I will say that I really enjoy uh, Lucash, which uh, I do use quite a bit on the Mirgloff build series, and enough so that I actually went and uh, acquired it for my iPod, and I listened to that on my way to work every day. But other than that, uh, I'm not particularly... I don't particularly... Uh, it's not that I dislike the music. Like I said, it's just not my preferred music that I would, you know, take home... Well, not take home, but music that I would necessarily put on my iPod, per se. But, uh, with the exception of Luke Ash, let's go this way, I've lost all sense of direction. And yeah, I hope I don't go in the wrong direction. Or at least go backwards, as I went quite a long distance this way. But uh, I don't mind uh, the electronic music so much. Uh, it's not... The ones that I've found so far for uh, my videos aren't very new, as in this year or the previous year. But they are... Uh, uh, were created and uh, recorded post the 2000 uh, turning of the millennia. And to say that I can tolerate music after that date of time, I suppose, for me, is saying something as I'm not a particular fan of uh, how music is shaping out these days. I prefer the classic rock, disco, and uh, I could get into arguments about why disco is not as bad as people perceive it to be. In fact, I would argue that people 
are not aware of what disco is when they perceive it. But uh, I, we'll, we'll get into that a moment, in a moment, I suppose. Uh, or wait, why would I, why would I wa wait? Uh, sorry, I, I seem to have confused myself. It happens, especially at 3 o'clock in the morning as it is now. For me. Okay, I guess I will talk about why I think people are wrong about Disco. Uh, I want to get to another village before I do that. There's a lot of useless villages I'm coming across in the last nine or ten previous ones, I would say. Oh, actually, I need to collect food. So, something that people get wrong when they imagine disco is what they're thinking of what anyone thinks of generally when I say disco or someone says disco is they're thinking of the discotheques which is a uh, place and not a music itself but where the music the disco music was played and people you know have an image of you know someone essentially old enough to be their dad, wearing very tight bell-bottom pants that are white or cayenne blue. Very bizarre, very gawky, gaudy. Cocaine was a popular drug back then, I think. So there's not a lot of good Im mental images of disco because of the fashion senses and uh, recreational pursuits of that era. Although the music itself, there are quite a lot of musicians who are disco and who are widely regarded as uh, uh, Hall of Famers, uh, such as The Who, uh, a classic rock breeze. Well, now, a lot of people, younger people nowadays, I suppose, and that would include me, I suppose, even though I just said younger people nowadays, like an old man, uh, probably aren't too interested in The Who. Maybe there are some. But uh, The Who is definitely disco, although I have gotten into arguments with people in the past who adamantly insist that The Who is not disco, but once again, that's based on mental images. But The Who is definitely disco, or at a certain time, the Who was disco. Now, all of their music is not of the disco genre, but they were played in discotheques. And that's that would technically dictate them as disco. There was uh, ABBA. And depending on your personal taste, they're either great or horrible. That's uh, generally how pop music goes, certainly uh, older pop music. Very treacherous getting this bread. I think I got enough, though. And, uh... There's also Electric Lights Orchestra, or Electric Light Orchestra. And... Their music is still actually popular today, even if you don't necessarily recognize them by name. I almost guarantee you've heard them over the radio. And we'll move on to another village now. I think is I got enough bread for now. There's far too many slimes spawning. All right. So also more bands and songs that are disco that are popular, but people don't realize that they're listening to disco and enjoying it, are the, uh, the Blue Oyster Cult, uh, one of their songs that has uh, lasted even to this day that's still popular is Don't Fear the Reaper. That's definitely disco. So, and I could go on and on about disco, although even with my arguments, I'm quite sure many people would still disagree, as they do, as, as I constantly have this debate with people. But, uh, 
I much prefer it to uh, modern music with uh, artists, and you can't even... I honestly don't really see too many uh, groups, like uh, bands, musicians. It's uh, Lately it's been more sort of solo artists who are purely just vocalists with uh, sampled music, sort of like uh, Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, I suppose, although a lot of her music, I, I, I'm not a particular fan of hers, in fact I'm not, but uh, I think her music is not so much sampled as created, although I don't know that she creates it herself, or if, and I don't think she's part of a band, in fact I'm certain she's not. But uh, I think what I really don't like about uh, modern pop music is that it's uh, mostly solo vocalists, and I really uh, part of the musical experience for me is the instrumental. And because modern pop music is essentially uh, the entities of the groups, which are essentially one person frontmen, uh, the solo artists. Too many goddamn doors. Uh, the solo artists are naturally, because it's just one person subsisting the entire song, other than the uh, sampled music, is uh, it tends to be vocal heavy, and, and in my opinion, they just put too many uh, lyrics into the song, the single. And it's at a certain point it becomes this verbal diarrhea, and it's just not pleasant to me. I quite there's quite a lot of music that I like that has quite a lot of instrumental without any lyrics. A balance, I would say. God, I hate that zombies knocking knock on doors. Particularly the sound of it. And I do realize that uh, not all of uh, modern music, and by which modern music I mean music being created uh, post-2000, is necessarily like Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, or... Uh, Mickey Minaj, as I mentioned, which I mentioned probably as simply as, uh, not catalyst, uh, I forget the word, but examples of music that I don't like, there are some, uh, I gave them an example as a modern music that is being, uh, that is popular that I don't think is particularly good because I said they're soloists and uh, are mainly lyrical. There are a lot of, uh, there are some popular, there is some popular music today that does come from groups or a band that has more than just one person, such as uh, Arcade Fire seems to be popular. I don't listen to their music at all, as it doesn't sound good to me. It doesn't sound horrible, it just sounds generic and hipster to me. But, uh, there's also, I think they're called Yes, I think is the name of the band. I don't think their name is so well known as their song, which I think is titled We Are Young. I like that song, even though it is repetitive. It has a, uh, a chorus that's pretty powerful, I think. Uh, I, I, I kind of feel like I sound lame just then saying powerful. But my vocabulary is stunted, as I have not slept in quite a while. I'm not keeping track of time very well either. 
Oh, this is a somewhat larger NPC village. Yet no blacksmith. Running low on the luck department here. So onward I go. And... I don't know, I don't think I really have much more to say about music. Now, regarding... Uh, regarding... Oh, damn, there's something I wanted to say about the snapshots. Something I wanted to... Dear God. I don't know how loud that is for you guys. It is annoying the hell out of me. I can turn down the volume for myself, but keep the, uh, the recording volume up here. The levels, that is. Okay, that's, that's better. It's not giving me a splitting headache. Um, I wanted to say something about the snapshot. Recent snapshots. Uh, screw off, zombie. No, that's it. I've had enough. I'm killing all these zombies. God. Why is it always with doors they could pick the most annoying sound files? If a sound has anything to do with doors in this game, it sounds awful and is this grating. Kill all these a-holes. Dear God. Clearly have no respect for personal property. Alright, well... Ow. Jerk. Such a jerk. That's it. I hear it. How did you even get in here? Bane of my existence. The door smashing zombies. Okay, well, I'm gonna... So be it. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, unfortunately, as the uh, previous video, I have not found any gold ingots. It makes me sad. But there we have it. Uh, thanks for watching. And there will be more to come soon.